Hiya, it's Friday and it's bank holiday weekend in the UK. Um, Lucy was in before, she asked to go out when I was doing a cup of tea, she asked to go out the, um, when I say ask, she was meowing, <laughs> obviously, obviously, um, at the back door. So I'm going to see if I can get her on. Um, it's, it's, what, it's half ten now, um, but it's lovely ten past nine. Um, my sister WhatsApped me to say she's just passing mine now. So I opened the door and she, anyway, she came in. So it was nice, a little catch up with my sister. Um, we keep in contact, obviously, um, via WhatsApp, but it's also nice to see her and um, see all my family. It's nice. So I'm going to go in the garden, try and get Lucy. Um, yeah, thanks for all your birthday wishes for her yesterday. She's cute. Yeah, it's nice to see you. Can you see that? It's actually starting to rain. Typical. Yeah, Lewis. Can you see? I can't see where I'm aiming this. Can you see it there? <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. Zoom in on it. Yeah, it's just starting to rain now. Um, yeah, it's only spitting out there. Um, Lucy's on the back wall, as you can see. I think she's on her way across, so I'll try and get her back on, I think, okay. before she goes. Going loose. <laughs> I don't know if you can still see her. I don't know if you can see her. Well, I did want to get her on camera. I wanted to hold her and just turn the lights off. But I'm gone. Yeah, I did want to get her on camera, but um, she had other ideas. Um, I could have not let her out, but she's a cat. She's got to go out, hasn't she? So, um, and she loves being outdoors. At the moment, though, I think she's rat hunting. Um, yesterday morning, her birthday, <laughs> um, she left a little present in the path for us. Um, a rat. Just a little baby one. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you as well um, for, like I said, I wasn't feeling too good yesterday. Um, and I'd put to Selena, you know, Top Dog X, it's Kiss, Top Dog Kiss, but it's, you could say Top Dog X. Um, and I'd put exactly what it was. Um, BPPV is benign proximal positional vertigo. So it's not a serious thing. I've had it for about seven years. Um, and it, you get a sensation of um, the room spinning. Seven years ago when I first got it, I didn't know what the heck was happening. Um, I lay down and then next thing I couldn't even sit up. The room was spinning, the wardrobes were coming at me. Um, it was horrible. Anyway, cut a long story short, the doctor thought it was labyrinthitis. You know, the in a ear thing but it was getting worse so he referred me I'm gone sorry he referred me um to the hospital and uh, these tests and it was horrible horrible they put these like goggles on me and I always thought it eased if I closed my eyes that made it worse apparently I had to keep my eyes open with these goggles I couldn't see anything but the nurse or consultant whatever could see on the screen and it was like rapid eye the thing you know, I had to try and keep my eye open my eyes open and I thought I was falling she had to hold my hand I was like I was shouting out I was like I'm falling and falling but I wasn't obviously it was a sensation but she kept holding my hands and she said just try and keep your eyes open anyway I did and 
I'm not ashamed to say I was crying. I was terrified. Um, anyway, she um, she said what it is. It's BPV, BPV, and she gave me a lot of information all about it, um, which I've still got. And she, um, I was given exor- head exercises, and they're horrible. You, you've got to like, I'm not going to do them because it will send me off balance. You've got to throw your head, literally throw your head onto the side on the city or whatever. I think it was for five, was it for a minute? No, 10 seconds. And then throw yourself back into the center for 10 seconds and then throw yourself the other side in 10 seconds. And you've got to do that, I think, five times. And, you know, it does help because I've, I've been doing them and it's horrible because as I'm throwing myself, the, the I feel it now as a turn, big pressure. It's just, it's the sensation that it's going to spin. But the other night, it, it didn't spin. I was just washing, washing. It, it spun the other night. But as I've been doing the uh, exercises, it's it's not spinning, that's what I'm saying. Um, but the other night I was washing my hair and I was just having to put my head down and the, the bath come over at me, the, the shower, and I went off balance and banged my head um, on the bath. Um, so it went kind of worse. But I'm only explaining this because if anyone else has this sensation, it possibly it could be that. Um, you're going off balance and that could be labyrinthitis but the room's spinning and I'm not kidding it's it's the sensation that it's spinning and you've got everything coming at you and you're just just going round and round and round and all whatever it's horrible horrible feeling um, but yeah so thanks for Selena for googling that and um, understanding what it is but I'm a lot better today still a little bit fuzzy headed but I'll see how I go over the weekend, um, but I'm okay. But I still, I've still always not been able to look up too high or down too low because I do go off balance. Um, and it's only, I've noticed since my mum passed away, the um, positional vertigo it gets shortened to seems to have like gone a bit worse. And stress can kick it off, I guess. Um, so I've just got to have less stress. Um, but yeah, that's down to me, isn't it? So yeah, so I'm I'm a lot better today. Um as I say the vertigo never goes, but it's controlled. Um and it's only the last um whatever that it wasn't. But the head exercises I've remembered to do and they are helping. Yeah, sorry if I've waffled on there about um, the positional vertigo, but it's just in case anybody else has those symptoms, you'll know what it is, um, Google it. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure whether it tells you the exercises online, I haven't actually looked properly, but that's what you do anyway, you just, it's horrible, but yeah, to throw yourself. But it works, it helps, because it, it's something to do with crystals in your ear, and the, the should be the shifted sort sort of thing. So by doing that, you're shifting it. How the fella and the um the nurse who was there explained it is like a snow globe. When you shake that snow globe, when you shake that snow globe, um, sorry, I had a notification now. Um, you shake the snow globe, and the crystals, the things in the snow globe, just go everywhere. Well, that's like positional vertigo basically so you've got to like throw it back and get it get it level again anyway i'll finish this now and i'll catch you later see ya